Hello, Forever Family. Until then, keep focused on what matters most to you. Hello, Forever Family, and welcome to another episode of Forever Matters. I'm Gary Shreve, and I will be your host for this episode. We've had some travel and more recognitions and a lot of things happening in product world as we continue into the second half of this year. So let's take a look at some of the highlights. Forever Living Philippines has just received a highly coveted seal of legitimacy from the Philippine government as an award by the Department of Trade and Industry. This is a huge win for not only the company, but also for fellow Filipinos. We are proud to be at the forefront of providing legitimate business opportunities and representing how to operate a successful, compliant business. This seal of proof is our commitment to ethical, direct selling policies. We are thrilled to be one of the very few who were the first to receive the seal of legitimacy. In our Latin American markets, Uruguay and Paraguay, they recently celebrated the launch of Aloe Body Lotion at a success day and recognized FBOs from their markets who were really excelling in their forever businesses. A new Eagle manager, Tanya Zirich, and new Sapphire manager, Patronia Caballero. They also shared some memories with FBOs who celebrated 25 and 30 years as managers in forever. We also had more executives traveling the world these past few weeks. Garen flew to Malaysia, the Philippines, and also Taiwan to spend time with the FBOs and staff in their local offices and presented at their success days. This was truly great for them to hear an inspiring speech and help to motivate the FBOs to keep pursuing their goals and go for the next incentive. Plus, Aiden just returned from his travels to the EU visiting the UK, Poland, and Romania. We'll share more about his trip in the next episode of Forever Matters. EMR 23 Impetite is so close and we are so excited to spend time with our Eagle managers. For those that will be attending, please be sure to visit our EMR website, emr.foreverliving.com. If you have any additional questions before your travel or contact your local offices. At the last global rally, I announced from stage that we're going to add more product sample sachets to our existing lineup. Aloe cooling lotion, aloe jojoba conditioner, and aloe liquid soap. Sample sachets are coming to your markets soon. Allowing a customer to sample our award-winning products is one of the best way to sell products. Now you can put all sorts of sample packs together the next time you have a meeting or perhaps know someone who will be traveling soon and these would really come in handy. Slip a few in your bag so you always have Forever products on your hands when you are talking to people about our products and the Forever opportunity. We have a new Sapphire manager from Iraq. Congratulations to Salah Jazim Handum. He has seen how the way to success can be difficult, therefore it's important to stay strong, confident and endure the challenges you face as an FBO. He believes the more difficulties we face, the more results we will achieve. And it's important to always keep moving forward, even if the pace is slow. That is excellent advice. We also have a new Sapphire manager from Turkey. Congratulations to Ali Biyander. He and his wife, Sergey, started their forever business in 2004. However, Two years ago, Sergi unfortunately passed away. Forever Living had become her whole life when they worked together to build this business. She passionately pursued her work, aiming to touch the lives and make the difference. Her next goal was to become a Sapphire manager. After she passed away, Ali continued the work they had started together to achieve this goal and help live out her legacy. Ali. I know she is looking down upon you with pride and joy to see all that you have achieved. We also are so proud to see you have stayed strong to see this goal reached. Now it's time to recognize our top 10 FBOs globally from July who had the most CCs. At number 10, Lino Barbosa from Brazil. Number 9, Marina Canat from Madova. 
Coming in at number eight, Philip Ritter, Switzerland. At number seven, Tarang Aurora from India. Number six, Joël Bonafopoli from France. At number five, Deya Amid Atea from Turkey. Number four, Krishna Aurora from India. Number three, Edusuku Motosuji from Japan. At number two, Rolf Kipp from the UAE. And at number one, Hanami Takaki from Japan. And now let's recognize our top 10 open group for July. At number 10, Seydou Sakara for Burkina Faso. At number nine, Kaltar Taju from Morocco. Number eight, Alona Companies from Israel. Number seven, Rosalia Alio from Italy. Number six, Hamiza Hamdan from Malaysia. Number five, Mohammed Akram from India. At number four, Maria Fabiola Castro from Italy. Number three, Marina Kanat, Madova. At number two, Dea Amadatea from Turkey. And again at number one, Hanami Tagaki from Japan. Congratulations to each of you. Recently, Maui, Hawaii has been hit hard by three huge wildfires that have been decimating the western parts of the island. Thanks to your support and donations to the Rex Mon Forever Giving Foundation, we are able to act quickly and make a large donation to the Hawaiian Community Foundation to help them recover and rebuild. Also, with the EMR 23 incentive in Bataya coming up, we have chosen to support the Father Ray Foundation in Thailand. Father Ray Foundation looks after over 850 underprivileged and disabled children in Pattaya, providing them with a home, an education, and nutritional meals, and medical assistance. We invite you to join us in bringing joy to a child by packing a brand new toy for a child at the Father Ray Foundation if you are attending the trip. Keep that toy to no larger than 10 inches, about the size of an aloe baby. If you aren't attending EMR this year, you can still participate by making a donation online or giving a toy to someone who you know who may be attending. Funds will be collected from now until the end of September and will go towards supporting their programs including the School for Children with Special Needs, the Children's Village, and the School for the Blind. That brings us to a close of this episode of Forever Matters. Be sure to tune in next time to hear the latest recognitions and news from around the forever world. Until then, remember, stay focused on what matters most to you.